Ah, what a lovely day it is. Look outside. Beautiful 12 o'clock afternoons like this. Always. Welcome to the Epic Summer Bash. Day two, my name is Nick, and today we're gonna make some hand electricity, whatever it is. But without further ado, let's make some hand generated electricity. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing that you wanna do is drag and drop your footage like I already did here. And you see that I look very ridiculous and I've already trimmed to its right duration and Go ahead, shall we? And the first thing that you want to do is get the advanced lightning effect. Alright, so we have it here. Um, Alright, drag it on. And we have this weird lightning here. Actually, let's try to get the glow radius up. The radius. Oh, that looks about... Um, that looks about... Right. The glow opacity. Then we have a really big... And I want it just about here. So, looks pretty good. Alright, so now the next thing that you want to do is composite on original. Then change the lightning type to two-way strike. And uh, OMG, let's try to let's lower the flow flow opacity. No, actually. I think this looks good. We're all right. Even though it does look pretty bad, but <laughs> that's all right. And the next thing that you want to do is get both of the ends in. So basically, oh man, this end that is going to animate with this hand, follow the move with this hand, this, this end is going to animate with this hand. All right, so, um, if you know how to animate, that's good, but I'm not going to show you how to animate in this episode. You can see tutorials on it, or how to keyframe. But, sorry, the closest stopwatch is beginning. And then, let's do it. Alright, so it's kind of going a little too fast. Great. And it looks pretty good. I like it. Really like it. Really good. Alright, so the next thing that you want to do is get a new solid and to get two lens flares. Oh, wait. I cannot type today. Right. Just get two of them. Then change the blending mode to screen. And then toggle switches modes. That's what I do. And then go to screen. All right. So, and the next thing that you want to do is get them to their their desired positions, and get. Come on, get that over here. And then we're going to change them both to 105 millimeter prime. Then the next thing that you want to do is get the hue and saturation effect. Oh, oh I cannot type today. No, actually. Alright, so we have hue and saturation. And then let's go to colorize and then change to the desired color we want. And saturated a bit. No, it does look bad, but. And yes, we still need to do animated overtime, so I'll be right back. Alright, so I actually found an easier way to do this. So, what you want to do is actually get Alt click on the flare center, Alt or Option click on the flare center in each of the lens flares. Make sure they're in the right position and the right. And then take the pig whip here in the flare center and then parent it to the origin or 
whatever end. So the left end here in, in my left, or your left is the origin. Here's the direction. So I, so this is the origin. So that's where I put the origin. So I parented this to the, the flare center to the origin, and yeah. And then do the same to the other lens flare to the direction, which is pretty cool. I feel like it. So I'll see you later. So actually, that was the last step. So once you're finished, it should look like this. And we're done. This was a little shorter than the um, color whatever tutorial. The color anything. Make objects have color. Color object tutorial. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever. It's, it's a little easier and more shorter. And Actually, this is easier, so yeah. That's why it's, this tutorial was more shorter. So yeah, guys, I will see you tomorrow. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I am on Twitter and Instagram, if you didn't know. So links are where I'm pointing at. And I will see you tomorrow, which I have nothing to say. So yeah, all I have to say is just see you tomorrow.